You know, we talked about, you know, now you guys are, you guys Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook people? Facebook. I know, I know you're like over 50 like me, you're like Facebook, you know. Uh, so, but what happens if you see a post you really like? You normally, you normally like it. You like it, right? What happens if, man, you want to chime in and say something? You comment. You say something. But you may get ridiculed. What happens if you really like this post? You put the love, right? You press love. <laughs> Hit the love button. But What's the ultimate way to let the person know you like their post? Share. You share it. I think that's the way God is. We read his, we read his word, we enjoy, we en, we enjoying the fruit of salvation, we're having a great time. We like it. May we keep digging in. We love it. <laughs> We comment on it, and God is going, oh, man, you, you're like going from step, you're going from glory to glory, right? But I think, what would make God really smile? You share it, say, man. God, you're so good to me, I can't keep it to myself. You heal my body, I got to tell someone. At the very least, your own Facebook post can be a scripture. Cause you, you, you just never know who can who will benefit from that scripture that day. Yeah. Amen. 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 Um, so, you know, I'm the pastor. Dan use this one or somebody else. I know I saw Pastor uh, Francis Chan use, use this one. He took a rope, a long rope, and, it, and this rope can stretch from here to Chicago. <laughs> That's a long rope. But the first inch of the rope was marked like a, they took a Sharpie or something and colored it black. 
And they said, man, from the white rope from here to Chicago is e our life with Jesus. It's eternity. Now the little black part is our life here on earth. And, but we spend all of our time, hopes, dreams, failures, good stuff, bad stuff, sickness, everything, all of our energy on the black part. Mm -hmm. yeah, but really, we should be thinking about this part. But most of us can't see past this this part because it's so much, right? <laughs> Retirement, savings, like all, all that's great. That's good stuff and use it for the kingdom. But, man, what would it be like if we would spend our life and our time, energy and resources thinking about this part right here? Because, because we're all in. Yeah. Our life is generational. And we're not just thinking about us, yeah. but those that are around us. Yes. Amen. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So I just wanted to just encourage you guys um, to be soldiers in the army of the Lord. Yeah. And next time we sing songs like I, I Surrender All, let's consider those words yeah. and go, man. Lord, help my unbelief. Yeah. Help me to really give you everything. Yes. And, man, and I've, you know, I've, there's been times I read Facebook more than the real book. That's right. Yeah. But the Bible says I need him more than my necessary food. Yes. 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 Man, this, I would get in the kitchen. Prepare the food, sit down and eat the food. It, it will take me a good hour to do all of that. And the Bible says, you need me more than that. Man, soldiers are warriors. Almost 30 years ago, when my marriage fell apart and I was a complete knucklehead, it took a warrior to restore our marriage. My wife's a warrior. I made a, made a post last week. I said, uh, when I think about soldiers, I think about men. But when I think about soldiers in the army of the Lord, for some reason, I, I, I think mostly about women. Man, what is it about you women that know how to war in prayer? Like, I'm not giving up on my baby. You know, I'm not giving up on my marriage. I mean, men, I mean, my dad was a praying guy and, I mean, you know, this, but man, women, Maybe you guys, I mean, I, you guys have babies. <laughs> that travail and that war, and, uh, you know, you guys know how to travail. Man, women are strong. Have to be. But I want to be strong in prayer, too. Guys can be strong in prayer, too. I think, guys, maybe we take our testosterone out on other stuff, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, we're competitive and no indictment on guys because I have to, you know, kick it up a notch in my prayer life. But I think we all balance each other. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, but we're in a war. And it takes, it takes warring for your family. It takes warring for your loved one. It takes war in our mind to keep our minds free from junk. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. 
Man, we're in a, it's, it's like warfare. Man, in the end, we are victorious. But we are in a war. The enemy studies us. You know, last week when the, when the Bears lost to the Packers. I bet you the Packers, weeks leading up to the, they study, they watch film. Right, Coach? <laughs> you guys, you guys watch film to study your opponent. Like, oh, okay, let's strategize. Man, the enemy is watching us, guys. He's he's plotting your demise. He's up twenty four seven, trying to. So that's why. We can't be a half in soldier. Amen. <laughs> right. 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 Amen. We're warriors. That's the, truth. the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. Through the what? So, I just thank God for for the warriors, women and men, because men men are great warriors too. And. Uh, if you want to be a warrior, in which you you guys already are, and you guys you guys are already all in, but if you want to be more all in, 